Greases themselves, I decided I didn't want to just have John Deere stuff for you, so I got other things. There's a lot of difference in greases. Someone tells you to grease, just grabbing a grease gun off the wall and greasing is better than nothing, but there is a big difference in greases. And so this is just a pamphlet from John Deere that shows the different greases they have and that gives you an explanation for what they're used for. <clears throat> These pamphlets here are from Mountain Oil, different company here in town. These are individual products on what they use. If you read the description on the bottom, this one here, the best grease that you can use today. Sounds like propaganda. It's state-of-the-art additives coupled with synthetic base oils. Make it a year-round performer for all applications. It's a general purpose grease. You can use it for general purpose stuff. This is a high performance grease, which is green in color. The color really doesn't have meaning. There's a lot of different colors out there. It's not like all green or a certain kind and all purple or a certain kind, but it's green. Unique Grease has an inviolable performance record both in the automotive and industrial applications. It has excellent shear stability, load carrying ability, water resistance, rust resistance, and oxidation resistance. The extreme pressure characteristics, passive in nature and free of heavy metals. Another unique feature is that it is heavier than water. Now, why that's important, I don't know. Resist burning, which is important in steel mill operations. This here particular grease is talking about high impact, high stress, where there's a lot of pressure. And it doesn't wash out or it doesn't um, combine with water. When you start dealing with items like reels, reel bearings that are in a really high moisture, high water environment, you want something that when you read this, resists water washout and doesn't absorb water. Because the whole purpose is to keep those bearings from rusting in the environment they have. So reading that is going to make a difference on what, you, what kind of grease you pick. This one here is an alter temperature grease. Excellent adhesive and cohesive properties. Resists acids, weather, dirt. I don't know how it can resist dirt, but it resists dirt. Salt spray, steam, and oxidation. You don't really deal with those kind of environments in your real units and your, your mowing units, so it's probably not the type of grease I would want to choose. This is just a basic one. This is called super impact grease. Multi-purpose grease fortified with special additives enabling to withstand heavy impact and pounding pressures common to heavy equipment. Special additive package allows the grease to stay in place, not to splatter out or pound out the bearing or fitting. Most greases manufactured today do not have any spatter capabilities. Now, it sounds good on paper. What you need to look at is actually the environment you're looking in. I've had salespeople come and give presentations. I had one guy from Blue, um, Mountain Oil come. He took the grease that we used, put it on a tin pan, took his grease, put it next to it, and put a fire under it. And we sat there for a while, and pretty soon the grease that we used melted and ran off. He's like, see, this stuff here, when it gets under high temperatures, it doesn't move. Well, you got to think about it. If you have a grease that's in a bearing, and it's traveling at high speeds, and it flies out of the bearing, and the bearing is going to run out of lubrication, what's going to happen to the bearing? It's going to get hot, right? If it gets hot, melts the grease a little bit, what will the grease do? It'll run back into the bearing. If I have a grease that doesn't actually kind of turn a little bit fluidy, when it gets hot, it'll just stay out there and my bearing will continue to run dry even though it's caked in grease. So that may not necessarily be a good thing. That was back before I even got into that kind of stuff. So I had another guy come in here, give a presentation. He had this little special tool that he would drop and it had like a mouse trap and it would, you'd put a, a blot of grease and the mouse trap would come and smack it and most greases went and they splattered out. They actually left it and left you with almost no grease between them. His grease, when he did that, didn't actually splatter out, which is a good. It's a sticky grease. When you play with his grease, it was similar to this type of grease. Now, when you touched it, it was super, we call this the super sticky grease. And it's really cold. When it's a little bit warmer, it'll go like way out here. 
And so this is a super synthetic grease. It's super sticky. I use this kind of grease in an area like pin bushings, anywhere where I have high pressure and it slowly moves back and forth. This grease is not going to splatter out and it's not going to squeeze out. It's designed to stay sticky and stay in place. It doesn't squish out. Under high temperatures, it's not going to move. You use different kind of grease in different parts of the... You use different type of grease in different places. Typically on a reel or on, a, on like a uh, mower, greens mower, fairway mower, John Deere is saying on their equipment, use two, they have two different greases they recommend. One grease would be like this, that you would actually use, and it's designed for the extreme pressure conditions, bin, pins, bushings, slow-moving objects. 